What's going on everybody? I know it's been a while since I've done a video. I was really consistent there for a while. Haven't done one in a minute. The last one I did, it had been a while since I'd done that one. And then obviously it's been even a little bit longer, I think, since I did that, uploaded that one as well. So, <clears throat> excuse me, you have to forgive me. I apologize, the shop's been super crazy. If you've watched any of my previous videos, you know that uh, I'm a sole proprietor. So I'm just me, I'm the only employee as of right now. I well, technically that is not true. My wife's an employee as well, but I do all of the uh, service advising parts, obviously all the work, talking to customers, estimates, invoicing, all of that. And it's been super crazy the last few months. So uh, I apologize. I'm hopefully not going to say uh and um, good thing and bad thing about posts and videos and, and putting yourself out there is people like to criticize you, which is okay as long as you don't have thin skin and a snowflake and you let things offend you. So that's one of the complaints people have been complaining about. So I will try, I'll do my best, I'm gonna work on it. I know I say um and uh a lot, so I don't do this all a lot, like the videos, it's all new to me. And so I do a lot of Instagram, got some grease, do a lot of Instagram posts and stuff, but I don't think about it. So I'll try to be conscious about it. But today I'm gonna to do my video on the Viper Chairs uh, fan. And then I also have a few other tools that I'll do some more in-depth reviews, but I just kind of wanted to update you guys what's been going on. I have bought a few tools that I could do some videos on. I just haven't had time to do the videos. So I am still going to do a thousand subscriber giveaway. I think we're close to like 600. So we're getting close. I'm pretty excited about that. I just, uh, once I get there, I, I talked to Jarhead Diagnostics. I think I might've talked to or mentioned that in the last video. Uh, Brandon Dills, the owner over there, and he offered to put uh, something in for the giveaway, and then I'm gonna also put some money towards it. I think I wanna do something with Devo as well. Uh, maybe we'll talk to Viper Chairs and see if there's something we can do there, I don't know. Uh, they've been super cool. Uh, I, this is paid for, my chair's paid for, so uh, they've just been super cool messaging me and reaching out on Instagram uh, when I share their stuff, and not a lot of companies are like that, so. Maybe I can reach out to them and put some money in and, and do something with them. I, I don't know what kind of options they are because their stuff's pretty expensive, but it's worth it. So that's that's the key I found so far and their quality is huge. So anyways, uh, this is their uh, fan that they have. It's uh, all aluminum, super nice, super quality, but it's not super loud. That's my biggest thing about it is that it, it's not loud. And so I watched, if you watch Tools by Design on Instagram and follow him, uh, he did a video on it as well on his Instagram. He doesn't do a YouTube channel, I don't think. So that was one of the biggest key factors for me is because it wasn't loud. You know, the drum fans, if you've been in the shop environment or any warehouse environment or around drum fans, they're super loud. And so that was one of my biggest complaints always. And I have a drum fan, it is just loud. So I did a video before I recorded this to even, I just recorded the two fans just to see if you could even tell a difference and you can. I actually recorded this video once already and uh, left the fan running and so you can hear the fan the entire time. So I won't do that this time. So anyways, let's let's go over the fan. So it comes with uh, three legs to for like a base and a tripod, but it also comes with a wall mount, which I think is what I'm gonna do. Uh, it's mounted on the wall because I don't have a lot of shop space and until we find a new bigger location uh, I need my floor space so I'm pretty desperate for that you can actually see the drum fan back there so anyways one of the best things I liked about this as well is it has a dial so it's not just high medium low or high low so you can adjust it infinitely obviously so you can put it on just 10 and it That's low, and then, like I said, you can, so that's full blast. So, obviously if I put the fan, or I mean, the, super the last one, if I put the phone in front of the fan, it's super loud, so I'll, it does pump out some serious air, but I'll try to do the side, so that way you can get a good feel. Um, and then it has adjustments to where it tilts forward and backwards, and then it has height adjustments on the knob here, so you can raise it higher and lower, and then it does oscillate as well. And then there's this button for natural wind, which actually changes the RPM. So it goes from 600 RPMs to 1200 RPMs. 
kind of weird, I guess, but I haven't used it, so I can't really say whether I like it or not. Um, so once I have used the fan more, I literally just got it yesterday. So once I use the fan more, obviously I'll do a more in-depth review and only look at the fan. Uh, so here's my drum fan, and the blades are about the same uh, size, but that one has five blades and they're aluminum. This one has three blades, and so I'll turn this on. I'll do it from the, from the side, and it might not pick up everything. Like I said, in the original video I did, you could definitely tell a difference, um, but it's probably going to depend on the camera angle and all that jazz, but here's how it's front. Here it is on the side, and then this is high, which on this, there's not much of a difference between high and low, but it does get louder, which is weird to me, but the actual fan pressure that the air puts out is not that big of a difference. So, definitely a lot louder, which has always been, like I said, my, my pain point about those drum fans. Put you guys back on here. So... Anyways, like I said, as I use that fan more, I'll do a more in-depth review on it, tell you guys how it's holding up. Hopefully by then I'll have it mounted on the wall. <coughs> Excuse me. I have to apologize. I hurt my neck too, so I can't really move uh, very well. Move my neck very well. This is another thing that I got, which was the uh, weighted fender cover, which is kind of weird to me because I don't know if Snap-on even had weighted fender covers before because this is new. I bought some diehard ones from online from Jersey Discount Tool Company. Uh, they bought like a whole bunch of them from a Sears that was going on a business or something, and they were cheap. I, I want to say they were 20 or 25 bucks shipped for two, maybe it was 30, but they're also cheap. Uh, and don't get me wrong, I paid cheaply for them, but the quality is not that great. I tore a hole through one already. Um, so I'm still using them. They just weren't that great of quality. And then I got this one, and the quality is so much nicer, but obviously the price is. Quite a bit more i think it was 70 75 bucks for this um, but it is really nice i actually plan on buying another one because it is so nice uh, and it folds up really nice as well and then i bought this uh, light from jersey discount tool as well uh, which i really like the magnets really good uh, the only downfall i had was the the rubber cover was kind of like cheaply cut and then so then i just ended up cutting it the rest of the way so that way i could take the uh, mount and come all the way around because before the cover came out and you couldn't flip this all the way so but the light's really nice charges fast the indicator's really nice it's bright um and it does last a long time so i was pretty happy with that i think it's 50 bucks 45 bucks 40 40 to 50 dollars shipped um i'm happy with it so i got a lot of lights i feel like the lights are one of those things that you can't get enough of i bought this little slim light as well which is super nice because i just stick it in my pocket um, it has a front one side leds and then it gets dimmer and then it also has the red which i think is kind of weird i don't know why the red's on there i could care less i wish there was no red lights but whatever um, there's a little magnet on it so like i said i just keep that in my pocket it does work really well so those are a couple of the things i've bought and recently i bought a couple other snap-on uh, right angle grinder um, I have these, which I will do a video on as well. These are from Hourglass Ingenuity. Uh, he does some insane machine work. Uh, I, these are really nice, but they're very expensive. And so a lot of guys are going to be like, oh, what a waste of money. I don't really care. I like nice things, and I like when they look nice as well. I don't want a bunch of cheap Harbor Freight trash crappy stuff in my shop. So I try to, if I'm going to use it a lot, I try to buy nice quality stuff. So anyways, that being said, appreciate you guys watching the video. Like I said, I'll, I'll be doing more in-depth videos once I have a little bit more time, sit down and uh, actually do some reviews of these tools and then do some follow-up of some old uh, videos that I haven't done, maybe some updated tool carts because I've moved some stuff around, but we'll see. So appreciate you guys. Have a great day. Appreciate you as always watching the videos. If you like the video, hit that like button. If you're still here, subscribe, uh, give it the thumbs up hit the bell. I can't even remember all the stuff. So thanks guys. See ya.